statistically right now as a defense, you're transitioning towards a great, great football season. Pass defense, number one in the nation. Rushing defense, number one in the nation. In the end, all these things should add up to, you don't score many points. Giving up 11 points a game as a total defense for the uh, entire year thus far is uh, pretty outstanding. A lot of our success hangs on the ability of our corners to play press coverage and to be isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Doc Quez has been unbelievable with that. And it is picked off by Dark Quez Denard. And that's one of the biggest reasons for our success as a football team. I'm from two years in Georgia. In high school, my senior year, I had one offer going to week one of my senior year, and uh, that was Middle Tennessee State. They called me uh, and said, hey, uh, we're going to go a different route. We got an opportunity to get a, a JUCO player, and we're going to take him. And I was crushed. I was watching our receiver, Keith Mumphrey, who had already committed to us, and just by chance, uh, he was playing against Twiggs County and uh, saw Darquez and uh, you know, sort of caught my eye a little bit. For a kid to be totally sort of off the radar as Darquez was, uh, is very, very unusual. A couple weeks after that, came across a highlight film of him and it was like a slam dunk, no brainer. Next trip to South Georgia, I was down there at Twiggs County High School. Obviously committed to us and, and then the world sort of shook for a little bit because all of a sudden South Carolina and some other people started to come in on him late. Last few weekends before signing day, he was starting to have some reservations about if he really wanted to come to Michigan State. Some other teams tried to start coming in on him a little bit, and he was a little hesitant. And I told him, I said, if I call Coach D'Antonio right now, he's going to tell me to go down to Florida and recruit a young man that we were, I was already recruiting, but just go after that guy and forget about Quez. I said, but we want you. A lot of guys where I'm from don't get that shot, and I'm just blessed to have this opportunity. I'll be honest with you, nobody had really high expectations of what he would do once he got here. And so that was all him. Like Coach D always say, don't forget where you come from. I know each and every time he goes out on the field, he thinks about that. Nobody wanted me, nobody offered me except Michigan State. And he has something to prove each and every time he goes out on the field. The Nebraska game from last year is a crazy game for us. He's going to score! Touchdown, Michigan State! Went up two scores, I think. Flag down! Personal foul. Number five on the return team. Half the distance to the goal. Just getting called back from a legal block. Uh, it was a legal block. Johnny Adams did call me today telling me he's bad, his fault, he apologized all the time. On the last drive, I remember it like it was yesterday. It is incomplete! Flag down on Denard! Got the P.I. call, thought I had great defense, I couldn't do it any other way, I thought it was textbook. P.I. that they called on him, that's how he's been coached. And I think any, anybody will tell you that that was a good play. No disrespect to the refs, they're human beings. They're gonna make mistakes just like all of us. But it was, it was great coverage. He did a great job on that. Corner of the end zone, caught! Touchdown, Nebraska! We lost you know, five games by a total of 13 points. And didn't close them out. I think you measure yourself by how you handle adversity. I think you measure yourself in, in the storms of life. It's very important that when we go to Lincoln, that we bring our direction and our focus, and that we don't get bigger than ourselves, we learn how to handle success. I want to get them back. I want to have this win. This is my last time playing them. I do owe them a pit six, I do know that. This is for the Big Ten Championship. It's a big one today, probably the biggest game with the most meaning this afternoon in the Big Ten, and that's Michigan State taking on Nebraska. Michigan State has never been able in seven tries to beat Nebraska. Maybe this will be the magic day here in Lincoln. Back goes Westerkamp to the 15. The Spartans in a stunning turn of events. The Spartans with great Great field position here. 
not time to get fancy here, George, and then pound this ball right at the Cornhusker defense. They will toss it to Shelton running left. Shelton stays on his feet toward the pylon. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. And the Spartans lead the Cornhuskers now 10 to nothing, taking advantage of two of the three first quarter Nebraska turnovers. Fumble. Oh. Ball is loose. It's still loose. Spartans have a hand on it. The hit put on by Shalik Calhoun on Armstrong. Four turnovers in one half. That, that is fatal. Connor Cook hands to Jeremy, runs to his right, stays Stay on, on his feet. feet. He's inside the five. Yeah. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. And the Spartans now lead the Nebraska Cornhuskers 20 to 7. Spartans start the second half with a 13 point lead. Better than 90,000 waiting to see who will control the Legends division. Michigan State just has to watch the big plays here. Nebraska lives and dies on the big play. And he's got a room up the middle. Look out. He's inside the 10. And he's into the end zone. Nebraska gets just what they needed. Nail-biter at Nebraska for control of the Legends Division of the Big Ten. Tommy Armstrong, Jr. Oh, fumble, 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 the snap. fumble! The ball is loose. I think it's recovered by the Spartans out and around the four-yard line. The fifth turnover now for Nebraska. Michigan State with a golden opportunity again. Jeremy Lamford into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU! Tommy Armstrong, Jr., the quarterback. Going deep left for Kenny Bell at the goal line. What a catch by Kenny Bell. Man, the noise level is right up there here in Lincoln. Michigan State has a six-point lead. Fourth and about a yard and a half. They will try now a 45-yard field goal. It's a fake. Running the ball is Sadler, the holder, and Sadler's got a first down. He's got it. He's got it. Michigan State needs to take this one Husker fan base out of the game by scoring on this drive. Caught. Touchdown, MSU. And the crowd goes quiet again here in Lincoln. Spartans trying to put the frosting on the cake here at Nebraska. Hand off to Jeremy Langford. Blast up the middle. He's got running room. Into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. And the Spartans do take control of the Legends division. And they pave the way for that trip to Indianapolis. Great job. Five zero turnover margin. Five zero. Woo Here's where we sit. One more game we're in. Hey! One more game we're in. Take care of business. 